cup. Okay, the, this is a tin cup. I mean, what else you well, gonna say about it? It's anyway. tin cup ten year. Unlike their regular, the regular tin cup is aged at least four years. This is their ten year age statement, coming in at eighty four proof. That's a little low for us. A little us. low for a ten year. A little low for us. Yeah, a little low for us. Course. But I've heard really good things about it. I've heard some guys on YouTube say that this could be the best uh, whiskey under best American whiskey, best good American more, whiskey man. under ninety proof. For for those of you who have died in the moment that he was trying to say that. Sure. I need bourbon. The best American whiskey <laughs> under 90, 90 proof. proof. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so Tin Cup is a Colorado whiskey. This is, it was actually named after a, a mining town called Tin Cup because the miners used to use Tin Cups to drink their whiskey. Uh, hence the name Tin Cup. I think it's cool information of why is it a hexagon shaped bottle? Uh, it's so it won't roll away from you down a hill while you're camping. Cause like this whole thing, I mean, go to their website. It's all about taking this stuff outdoors. I mean, this is, that's a hefty bottle right there. It's thick. It's a <laughs> thick walled bottle. I'm, I'm digging the whole the whole marketing vibe. You know, I, I nerd out on the marketing pieces. I think this is a phenomenal piece of marketing with the tin cup, with the bottle shape. It looks high quality. Um, and it's not a bad price. I picked this up at uh, Total Wine for, it was under 45 bucks. It's got some air to it. We already got the neck pour out a couple of days ago. That was a lot. It's only 84 proof. Yeah, I know. Swirl, swirl, swirl. It smells a lot better than it did when we popped it and uh, initially pulled the neck pour out of it. Well, yeah, because we had both just drank, what, uh, Baker's, Baker's 107. 107. Yeah, Baker's seven year. This is... This smells uber sweet. Yeah, this is our first pour of the day. On purpose, because it's 84 proof, and we yeah. are ladder climbing up through all these videos we're making, so we're starting low and working our way up. You get the caramel, the vanilla notes, uh, you know, classic um, classic bourbon flavors, even though I know this is a, an American whiskey. A little bit of, little bit of oak in there. And there's a fruity note, like a citrusy fruit note. <coughs> Why does it? It's got a decent little oiliness to it. It's it's 84 proof, but like there is. There's. A, I'm getting a lot of ethanol. There's an ethanol note. Yeah. There's. Yeah. yeah if you're not paying attention, it'll make you cough. <sighs> there's a creaminess in there. It's got a beautiful color. I just wish it was a higher proof. Watch this. Watch. We're gonna twirl into a dink. Better than the neck pour. Oh, infinitely oh. better than the neck pour. That's nice. If you're drinking it as your first drink for the day, that 84 proof doesn't really matter. It's got a no. delicious taste to it. Don't, don't climb down the ladder no. under this because you will not taste anything. It, okay, so that ethanol note that you pick up on the nose that kind of burns just a little bit, yeah. that is not on the palate at all. Okay. This is not hot. It's not hot at all. I'm getting cherries right on the back of the tongue. Kind of caramel honey up, honey note up front. Like I'm uh, almost like a honey suckle, a little bit of a floral. Back end, I do get cherries. I'm surprised, especially for an 84 proof, how creamy this is. It's very much a creamier note. And the taste is not going away either. I'm, I still mm. have a lot of the taste in my. If if the burn, I guess if you could get a burn out of 84, has gone, it's left the taste. I I like that. I That's like a bourbon that doesn't leave me right away. I want to be able to taste yeah. it for a little while. Especially considering it's 84 proof, the finish is very nice. And I mean, it's still, it's lingering. It, it has a really nice finish to it. I said it when we did the neck pour and I'm picking it up even more so now, overall, when I, as I'm going back to it, like an orange creamsicle. I definitely get that orange creamsicle note. I think this is a perfect bourbon for outdoors especially like summertime. Oh yeah. This is a perfect summertime uh, pour. I agree. I mean, you don't have to bring in Glencairn and, and probably break it. Bring your, your stinking tin cup and then yep. just go to town. I like this. This is a good buy. And this would you say like 40 something bucks? It was, it was under 45 bucks. That's a deal. This is a, and I think this is a great beginner bourbon too. This right here, this gives you an, an immense amount of flavor under 90 proof. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, please hit that like button and uh, give us a thumbs up and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content each week. Yep. Guys, if you're looking for a Blanton's alternative, something that's got a similar profile that's easy to drink, check out our top five alternatives to Blanton's. It'll be somewhere right here.